Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and this video will learn how to open a browser and do login on this login page with Power Automate Desktop. So I'll leave on the description of this video the URL to access to this page. So first step is to open the browser on this login page and to open the browser on Power Automate Desktop we need to use an action and the action it's launch new and we can see here some actions for different browsers so i will use the one to launch the chrome browser and first launch mode we want to launch a new instance so let's leave this option as the one selected initial URL. so here we'll pass the URL to access the login page so Let's store uh, the URL on the variable. So let's search here for the action set variable. And so the variable name can be, for example, login page URL. And here let's paste the URL. So now that we have created the variable, let's call it here. We could also pass directly here the URL, uh, it's no problem. So here, Windows state, let's uh, force to be maximized. And let's see. So let's close the browser and see what will happen. So let's run our automation. And as we can see, our automation opens the browser on the login page. So now we need to input the username and the password. We can see them here. So this one is the username and here we can see the password. So let's create first two variables to store these values. So first let's create a variable to store the username. So let's define the variable name as username, for example. And let's paste here the username. And now another variable to store, so uh, the password. Let's get it. Password as a variable name. And uh, let's paste here the password. So now we'll need to use two actions to fill each field. So the action that we'll use is the populate. So let's search here populate. And now we can see two actions that starts with the name populate. The one that we'll use is the one from web form filling. So let's write this action after the launch new Chrome action. And first, we need the so to indicate the browser instance. It's the one already selected. We have only one. Y element. So we need to capture the Y element. So let's add a new one. And first, let's indicate the username field. So to indicate, we need to press Ctrl and left mouse click. So let's do it. So the Y element was already capture it so let's click on done and now so the text to fill on the field will be the username so let's select here the variable that stores the username and let's click on save now let's use another action to fill the password so we'll need to add another y element so for the password field Let's add it. Already indicated. Let's click on done. And now text to fill on the field will be the password that is stored on our variable password. So let's test our automation. So let's close the browser and let's execute our automation. As we can see, our automation already opens the browser and fills so the username and password. Next step is to click so here on the login button. So to click on the login button, we'll use the action press button. So let's search here, press button. 
And so let's use the one from web form filling. Let's drag it. And so we need to add a Y helmet related to the button. So let's add a new one. Let's indicate it. Let's click on done. So Y helmet already indicated. Let's click on save. And now let's close the browser and see what will happen. And as we can see, our automation did the login successfully. So now to finish, let's do the logout and then close the browser. So to the logout, we need to click here on the logout button. So we need to use another press button action. And we need to add a white helmet. The helmet of the logout button. So let's add it. Let's click on save. Let's execute the automation to see if it's working well. So now to close the browser, we'll use the action close web browser. So let's drag it to our flow. And so we just need to indicate the browser instance. So because we have only one on our flow, it's already selected. Let's save and let's close the browser and see our automation, how it will run. So it did the login, did the logout and closed the browser successfully. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RPA tutorials. So I leave here on the screen a playlist with Power Automate desktop tutorials so you can learn more about it. So I'll see you on the next video.